Today is the feast of the Holy Trinity. God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, this feast reminds us, first of all, how limited we are before the mystery of God. However smart or intelligent we are, or we think we are, we can't fully understand God. There's a story told about St. Augustine, the great philosopher and intellectual, who was walking along the seashore one day when he saw a little boy playing in the sand and going back and forth, taking water from the sea in a small bucket, pouring it into the hole that he had dug. What are you doing? Augustine said. Do you think you can put the whole sea into that little hole? No, the little boy answered. And neither can you put God into that small mind of yours, no matter how smart you think you are. The story reminds us how we are before the mystery of God, how limited we are. And yet, this feast reminds us that God reveals himself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As Father, God is the creator of heaven and earth. We know God through the things that God has made. God also reveals himself in Jesus Christ, born of Mary 2,000 years ago, who walked the earth and died on a cross and rose from the dead and remains with us. He reveals God's love and promises us eternal life. The Holy Spirit's also God with us, guiding us and our world to a common destiny. But again, we're like those two people on the seashore, looking at the unmeasured sea. And like little buckets, our minds can't hold it all. Now remember the story of the conversion of Paul the Apostle. Paul was on his way to Damascus to persecute the followers of Jesus, and suddenly a blinding light throws him from his horse. Who are you, Lord, he says. I'm Jesus, whom you persecute. Now Jesus was like a blinding light, and yet he reveals himself to Paul, as he did to his other followers, little by little, in words and actions, in his humanity, and in those who follow him. Jesus is a blinding light in his divinity, but paradoxically, his light shines in the darkness of our world in his humanity. St. John says, no one has ever seen God, but his only son, who is at God's sight, has revealed him. As people of faith, we don't claim to know God fully. At the same time, we don't turn away from God and say we don't know God at all. We don't say either that God's not worth knowing, that the only thing that happens is life here and now. As people of faith, we know that God is important, that God reveals himself to us as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that God invites us to know him little by little, that God is the one important one we have to know and love. Now, every, every summer, like so many others who live near the ocean, I like to go down to the shore and look at the sea. I don't know why, but I think it has something to do with what this feast proclaims. God is like the mysterious sea beyond what we know. Yet God wants us to know him as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.